Hello, we are Team Interplanetar, an undergraduate student team from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, presenting our new rover, Prochesta version 2.0, for the Anatolian Rover Challenge 2023. Our team from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology has been representing Bangladesh in different Mars rover competitions around the world since 2011. We have been participating in different Mars rover competitions such as European Rover Challenge, University Rover Challenge, IRDC, and also we participated in the International Planetary Aerial System Challenge in 2021 where we won the Innovation Award. The team's workspace is located in the university's project lab where we hold team meetings and collaborate on our project. Each sub-team has its own designated area to work, allowing everyone to work simultaneously on different aspects of the project. Here we finalize designs, build and test the subsystems and assemble the rover. Besides, we use various workshops. For testing, we use the project lab and the open space or playground of our university. We have made every effort to minimize the weight of our rover and it currently weighs approximately 55 kg, including the science payload and communication system. Each wheel weighs around 4 kg while the suspension and chassis together weigh approximately 14 kg. While the antenna is kept straight relative to the ground, suspension and chassis covers length of 1050 mm, width of 1000 mm and height about 1530 mm. We have used wheels of diameter 300 mm. In addition, the communication antenna adds 2.5 kg to the overall weight and the manipulation system weighs around 9 kg, which may vary slightly depending on the specific end effector required for a given task. The manipulator can reach 1 meter above ground and 100 mm below ground. We implemented a four-wheel rocker suspension mechanism to keep the rover lightweight. Wheels are attached to the rocker on either side of the rover chassis. Bar differential keeps the rover chassis balanced at an average angle between two rockers on either side, which allows the rover to climb over rocks and uneven grounds while minimizing the jerking of chassis, thus protecting the sensitive electronic components inside. We tested the rover for traverse in extreme rocky terrain. Our rover can climb steep slopes and traverse to harsh environment. Rover can also drive over sandy grounds. This year, a completely new chassis is designed and manufactured to reduce weight and ensure mobility. The chassis is made of stainless steel square tubes which is deep welded providing strength while being lightweight. It provides more space for electronics, arms and science payloads. The suspension is made from stainless steel square tube. This year we made a modification by shifting the link bar differential from the front of the chassis to under the bottom. This allowed us to mount the arm in front of the rover for better maneuverability of the arm during several tasks. The electrical system of our rover is separated into four different boards, power, arm, wheel and science. For powering the rover, we are using lithium polymer batteries and two different power rails, 12 and 24 volts. This year, we designed our power board with high current consumption in mind and high and low power system is properly isolated to remove any electrical noise. Custom-made PCB board designed by our electrical team are used to connect all the components of the rover. Implementation of connectors allow easy assemble disassemble the rover whenever necessary. Arduino Nano was used in each board for low-level control and they communicate the Navia Jetson Xavier of main board. For power supply, we used CCS and 1-4S LiPo batteries. They will give us approximately 1 hour backup. A 12 into 10 into 6 inch electric box contains all the PCBs and batteries. It is approximately 5 kg with all components. For rover movement, planetary gear motor was used with high current H bridge motor driver to control them. Heavy duty servos are used in EO pitch mechanism for precise gear movement. L298N motor drivers are used for controlling DC motor of roll motion and gripper movement. For base rotation, we used DC gear motor and linear actuators for shoulder and elbow. Safety of the rover and the crew is our top priority, so we have installed an industry standard kill switch which can also be operated remotely to cut off the power from the batteries in case of emergency. Learning from previous years, we have simplified the arm design, and this lighter design is manufactured using TIG welded AC square tubes. The 6 degree of freedom arm stands on a tightly integrated warm gear box run by a DC motor which provides base rotation. This warm gear reduces backlash of previous design. This year, we have modified the previous end effector by replacing most of the plastic parts with aluminium alloy. This enabled us to make the roll, pitch, and yaw mechanism 74% smaller in volume while still maintaining the similar strength. The end effector can push buttons, flip switches, plug in USB. With the 360 degree continuous rolling, we can turn knobs and drive screws with a screwdriver. The arm can pick up objects from the ground, pull ropes, open and close latches and drawers. For science tasks, we designed a payload consisting drill and scooper mechanism. The auger drill can dig in the depth of 5 cm and bring loose soil to the surface. To collect the soil, we use detachable scoopers which are collected by rover arm using electromagnetic effect. Three different scoopers are used to avoid contamination. The scoopers open and close itself by using linear actuator and elastic rubber fiber. After collecting soil, scoopers are placed on container opening. The containers are closed with the help of scoopers to avoid spilling. For laboratory analysis of the soil, we use different chemicals to detect presence or absence of life. Protein, lipid, carbohydrates, and carbonate biomolecules will be detected through the color-changing chemical reactions. Further development of ATP tests using luciferase enzyme is going on to detect extinct or extant life. We also use pH meter, moisture, temperature, and humidity sensor to observe if soil sample is habitable for life or not. For rock sample analysis, we have developed a model using CNN and ResNet, which can provide data from real and augmented images. To justify the hypothesis, we are going to use microscopic camera to observe the site of interest and the characteristics of the particular geological feature. 
the total science payload with approximately one and a half kilograms, which consists of soil collection and caching devices. Real sense depth camera is used for obstacle avoidance and air attack detection during autonomous navigation task. Alongside the camera, our rover uses a nine degree of freedom IMU and PS module connected to a Jetson Xavier NX, which is the same setup as the previous year. The Jetson Xavier NX acts as the rover's main processing unit and takes the 3D point cloud data from the camera and fuses it with the GPS and IMU data for weapon navigation. Using point cloud data from the depth camera, a 3D map of the environment is generated. This is then used to generate a 2D grid map where the obstacles are marked with black boxes. The path planning algorithm uses this data to traverse in an optimum path while avoiding obstacles, which is shown in the RVS window marked in blue. The directed air tags also get marked on the map and camera window using GPS data. Real-time position data is shown on the map and weapon-based navigation is performed successfully. For effective task handling, we have created a unique user interface that is connected to ROS, which includes all manual rover operation functions. Our robot operators may simply control a variety of rover movements by depressing various buttons on the user interface and on the keyboard. The robot's sensor data and video feed can also be streamed through the user interface for monitoring purposes. We've set up a 2.4 GHz communication link between the base station and the rover using two rocket M2s. Base station uses a 120 degree 15 decibel sector antenna while the 13 decibel omnidirectional antenna is mounted on the rover. These are both high gain antennas and they ensure no line of sight communication for a distance up to 1.5 km from the base station. We are using an algorithm for detecting ARCO markers from the camera input. The algorithm uses OpenCV libraries to detect ARCO markers from the camera feed. The algorithm can detect the ID of the individual markers and estimate the pose and distance from the camera which is required for autonomous navigation. Here are some demonstrations of our rover, Processor version 2.0, performing tasks similar to the ARC competition. For the first mission in Marsfield, our rover will be able to do science tasks like soil collection, chemical analysis and microscopic rock analysis. For the second mission on the first side of the moon, the rover will navigate autonomously between several obstacles. For the third task on the moon field, the rover will navigate from place to place and perform several maintenance tasks as shown here. Lastly, for the fourth task, the rover will navigate through the Mars field at night time using night vision. The night vision systems for this task are still under development. We are grateful to our sponsors and partners for their continuous support. Thank you for watching. See you at ARC.